Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss about debugging SQL Server stored procedures. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to mainly talk about how we could debug stored procedures. But before starting the demonstration, I would first explain what exactly is a stored procedure. Right. And then we'll move on to a demo of basically finding out how we could debug a stored procedure. Right. So what exactly is a stored procedure? Stored procedure is a collection of or a group of transact SQL statements. Assume you develop a software solution and you have many modules in your solution. And in each module, you basically use very much similar SQL statement throughout different modules. Then the disadvantage of using or issuing ad hoc SQL queries in that manner in different parts of a software solution is that what if the client uh, ask more information out of that SQL query. Let's say, for example, client wants to add two more fields to that SQL query. So as a developer, you need to change many places uh, in your software solution to cater or to address that client's requirement. So basically, you need to change the same SQL statement in multiple parts of your software solution. Instead, you could simply create a stored procedure in SQL Server database very much like you created, very much similar to the way you create a table or a view. Right? By doing so, we could address the client requirement very easily simply by changing the stored procedure itself and without doing any code change in multiple places so that we don't have to go for a new release also in that case unless otherwise we do certain other code changes in the software solution we could simply change the SQL query within the stored procedure itself. So in that case, we are achieving higher amount of maintainability. And also, we achieve higher reusability using stored procedures. How? The same stored procedure can be used not only in your project but also for another even for another project or a web api likewise we achieve higher reusability using stored procedures so how we could uh, debug a stored procedure so the one tool that i could point out is visual studio uh, Visual Studio is a product uh, which is provided by Microsoft and it's available in many versions such as professional, community and enterprise editions. I myself use the professional edition but everyone can uh, download the Visual Studio community edition free of charge. Uh, I will mention uh, the URL which you see 
at the description of the video okay let us go to a demo and see how we could debug a stored procedure so before going to visual studio i will first show you the database that i have created in my local sql server uh, for example i have created students database with just one table and having uh, three columns very basic table id name and age and then i created a stored procedure called sp get student count based on age so what happens in this stored procedure is that the user or the client of this stored procedure will simply send a value via this input parameter and what you have to do or what the stored procedure has to do is to filter out or rather calculate the count or the number of students who are having an age which is greater than or equal to the value sent via the stored sent via the input parameter for example if you go to the student table if in case the value for the input parameter is sent as 25 then if we issue a query like this select student count which is a variable that we take the number of students result from student where age is greater than or equal to 25 the answer would be three students david sam and peter and finally we print the result okay so how can we debug this stored procedure for that right i will go to visual studio and let me tell you that we do not have to use any of the development templates to debug a stored procedure we simply have to go to the server explorer window of visual studio for your information we can get the server explorer in this manner and then you have to create a connection for your database so my server name is this and we create a connection for my SQL server I'm authenticated via Windows authentication and I select my database as students test connection okay now what I have to do is let me take a new query so before debugging the stored procedure we'll have to type some preparation code so I will uh, first declare a variable for my to pass a value to my to the uh, input parameter of the stored procedure declare at age parameter age of type int and set the value to age variable as 25 and to debug the stored procedure we will have to issue a uh, execute statement first right so that we can execute this stored procedure and then we mention the variable name here that's all now let's get let's execute this uh, sql block and uh, we execute it in the debug mode by 
setting up a breakpoint. Okay. Now, as you can see, same as you debug uh, C sharp or Java code, we get a breakpoint to debug the SQL code. Now, press F10 to move to the next line. Press F11 to move inside the stored procedure. There you go. You will have the stored procedure display. If you point your mouse pointer to the input parameter variable, you will see the value is 25. Then if you move your mouse pointer to the student count variable, you will see the result as 3. Then finally, you execute the print statement. So in order to view the result, you again have to go to this file and you will see 3. So that's it friends. This is a very simple demonstration of how you could uh, debug an SQL stored procedure. So this method can be applied to even a very complex stored procedure also so that you can quickly identify or troubleshoot an issue or get an idea about the stored procedure quickly by debugging through the lines of the stored procedure. Right. If you found this uh, tutorial useful, you could simply like the video as well as subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thank you friends. Happy coding.